I love to travel, but there's just two problems. I don't have any money, and I'm not a fan of turbulence. Luckily, there's an equation that if you solve, will fix both these problems. It's called the Navier-Stokes equation, and it's about fluid mechanics. Whoever solves it gets a million dollars. Let's get into it. Now when I talk about a fluid, I'm not just talking about liquids. The same way water flows around a sea turtle, air will flow around a plane. These are both fluids along with other liquids and gases. This equation governs how fluids move. So what is this equation? Well, it's this beauty here. Now it looks complex, but math is a language, just like French. So let me translate. It all comes from Newton's second law of motion. Force equals mass times acceleration. Now there are many forces that act on a fluid, so let's break them down one by one. Firstly, we have pressure. Let's say we have two rooms, one with more pressure than the other. The air will be forced from the room with more pressure into the room with less pressure. Next, we have viscosity. This is made of two parts. The first one tells us how viscous a fluid is, and can be thought of as how slowly it pours. So water is less viscous than honey. Let's say we have our two rooms again, and fill them both with water. Like before, the fluid will move to the low pressure. Now, if we fill them with honey, it will flow much slower. So together, this tells us that more viscous fluids accelerate slower. Lastly is any external forces, most notably gravity. Think of a waterfall. The gravity will pull the water down. On the other side, we have mass times acceleration. Since it's a fluid, we talk about density. So mass over volume, which we write like this. The acceleration stays as acceleration. So the whole equation reads, the acceleration is determined by the change in pressure, how viscous of the fluid is, and the effects of gravity. So why does this equation have a million dollar bounty? Well, it comes from Newton's second law, and I was able to explain the basics in just a few minutes. How bad could it really be? There's just one problem. Yes, turbulence, the stuff that might rattle you on planes. The problem with that is, when you ask an expert what turbulence is, they give you the same answer. You know it when you see it. What? We landed people on the moon, and yet we still don't have an agreed upon definition for turbulence? When clouds churn, that's turbulence. When rivers swirl, that's turbulence. Turbulence is swirls upon swirls upon swirls until you can't tell one swirl from another. It doesn't fit into our order of equations. But the person that sits turbulence down and gives it a stern talking to will be that much closer to solving Navier-Stokes. So join me in this race to not only win a million dollars, but to understand this world just a little bit better.